so hopefully you know from GCSE that simultaneous equations are two equations that you can be given in which you need to find values that make both of them true at the same time. So there are two types of questions that they could ask you. Um, the first one is when you're given two linear simultaneous equations. So this will be in the form ax plus by is equal to c and dx plus ey is equal to f, let's say. There will always be just one solution, uh, which is uh, x and y, so that's one solution. Um, I'll ex there are very rare instances where there could actually be technically zero solutions. I'll explain that in the next vid, but you don't really need to know about that. Um, all of the ones that you will encounter will only have one solution. So there are three ways that you can solve um, these these simultaneous equations where they're both linear. Um, so we'll use the same example for out um, to uh, illustrate our point. So let's say the question solve these simultaneous equations and we're going to use x plus 2y is equal to 8 and 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. So the first way that you can solve these is by using the calculator. So if you turn on your calculator and press menu slash setup, you go down to the A box to equation slash func, and you press 1 for simultaneous equation or simul equation, and press 2 for two unknowns, it will give you a blank simultaneous equations. They will give you two blank simultaneous equations, but they're both linear. If you put in the right coefficient, so use equals in order to put in the coefficient, so you do 1, 2, 8, 3, minus 2 and 4 and you press equals it will give you the solution so it gives you that x is equal to 3 and that y is equal to 5 over 2 and that's the solution uh, to the simultaneous equations now obviously this is the quickest way now the one problem with this way is if you get a question that is solely about simultaneous equations like you get this question up here which let's say is worth like four marks uh, to just solve these simultaneous equations you can't do it that way because you will need to show some sort of method to get any marks if you just do it by the calculator you won't get any marks so be careful when using the calculator it's useful in later topics when simultaneous equations are in in used in a wider scale of a question, a wider scale on a topic, and you're not going to get marks for solving them, so you can quickly plug them into the calculator. Um, but for this one, you need to be careful with it, the, this topic uh, with these questions. It's still useful though, because you can use it to check your answers. So when you use one of the other two methods, what you can actually do is plug it into the calculator, and you can find the solutions, and you can check if that's the solution that you've got. So it is still useful to know. The second way that you can do it is by elimination. I prefer this method to the third one because once you do it enough you get really quick at it and then it saves a lot of time. So let's use the same example as before. Um, x plus 2y is equal to 8 and 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. The point of this method is that you need to make the coefficients of one of the variables, x or y, the same, and then essentially you can minus two of the equations. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to times this one up here by times three. I'm going to times the whole thing by times three. And if I do that, I get 3x plus 6y is equal to 24, and then 3x minus 2y is equal to 4. If I minus this equation from this equation, I'm going to get 3x minus 3x, which is just 0x, and it will cancel out, 6y minus minus 2y, which is 8y, and 24 minus 4, which is 20. And then we can uh, simplify this to do y is equal to 20 over 8, which is equal to 5 over 2. And then we can find the x coordinate by just subbing it into one of the equations from before. So let's use this one up here. So we say that x plus 2y, which is 2 times 5 over 2, which would be 5, is equal to 8. And then we can find x is equal to 3. And then that is our solution there. y is equal to 5 over 2, 
and x is equal to 3. And of course, we know that this is the right answer. We know we've done it properly because we've got the same answer that the calculator gave out. So the third way that we can solve this is by substitution. So the way we do this is for one of the equations, we make either one we make one of the variables the subject and then we sub it into the other equation. So let's use this one and make x the subject because that looks like it's going to be the easiest. So what we can do is you can do x is equal to 8 minus 2y and then we can sub it into this equation here. So then we can do 3 x and we have got x is 8 minus 2y over here. So we can write this as 8 minus 2y minus 2y is equal to 4. And then we can, obviously we can simplify this to 24 minus 6y minus 2y, which you can simplify to 24 minus 8y, which is equal to 4. And then we're going to use this bit on the end. And then we can simplify this uh, and put the 24 on the other side to do, let's do it up here to get a tiny bit more space, to get minus 8y is equal to 4 minus 24, which is minus 20, and then we can get that y is equal to 5 over 2. And then what we can do then is we can just sub this uh, into an, uh, the equation. We can sub it to this one over here because it's really easy because we've already got um, x as a subject. We can do x is equal to 8 minus 2y, which is uh, 5 over 2, so 2 times uh, 5 over 2, which is 5, we simplify that to 3. So you can say that x is equal to 3, and that's our solution. And once again, we know this is the right answer because our calculator before proved it, so it's a good way of checking. So the second example question they could throw at you is one of the equations being a quadratic and one of them being linear. So for this example, you could have either two, one, or zero solutions, and I'll go over that a bit more in the next video. Um, so in order to do um, these questions, let's use an example. Let's say um, solve these uh, simultaneous equations. I'll shorten um, uh, simultaneous SC because I can't be bothered to write it out. I hope that's okay. Um, and we'll say 2x minus y is equal to minus 3 and x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to y. So the way you solve these is only by one method, and that is substitution. You can't do it uh, using the calculator. Your calculator isn't built for it, and uh, elimination doesn't work either. So the way you do it is you rearrange the linear equation uh, to make one of the variables the subject and then you substitute it into the quadratic and then you can make a quadratic equation out of that which you can easily solve. So this is the linear um, equation. So we are going to rearrange this to make one of the variables the subject. Let's just use y because it looks a bit easier. So we'll say that 2x is equal to minus 3 plus y. Then we can rearrange that to get y is equal to 2x plus 3. And then we can sub this into the quadratic in order to get x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 2x plus 3. We can rearrange this to get x squared minus 6x plus 5 is equal to 0. And then you can just solve this. Uh, you can do it by factorization, which is quite quick as well, or you can do it by the calculator. And if you use the calculator, you'll find that the answers are 5 and 1. Now, you've got two solutions here. So that means you're also going to get two values of y. So when x is equal to 5, y is going to equal, you have to sub the value of y into one of the equations. We use this equation up here because it's the easiest y is equal to 2, 5, plus 3, which is just equal to 13. So y is equal to 13 when x is equal to 5. And then for the other one, when x is equal to 1, y is going to equal 2, 1, plus 3, which is equal to 5. So it's going to be x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 5. Now, the important with this is that you need to pair the solutions to correctly. So the solutions are x equals 5, y equals 13, and x equals 1, y equals 5. You can't switch those ab ab about because then it wouldn't work. 
Um, just another note as well is that they will never ask you a question uh, on two quadratics. Uh, they won't do that, um, and it won't um, it won't come up. Um, but a way, although you don't have the calculator, a way that you can check that these are the right solutions is you can just sub them into the original equations. And if you sub them into the original equations and you find that they come out with what you're expecting, so for example, for uh, the first equation, you would for x, x equals 5 and x equals uh, 13, you do 2x minus y and sub in the values, and it should come out with minus 3. And for the second one, if you do x equals 5 and x equals 13 again, you sub in um, uh, x is 5, and then it should come out with 13 as the answer, because y is the answer. So that's a good way to check if you've got the right answer as well. Okay, really quick, the specification specifically says that obviously you um, it will not ask you to get two quadratics, but it could put both of the variables in the quadratic to the power of two. So it could ask, for example, 2x minus 3y is equal to 6, and x squared minus y squared plus 3x is equal to 50. I've actually nabbed this um, question straight from the specification because it specifically mentions it, where the y is also to the power of 2. So the way you solve this is exactly the same. You rearrange the linear equation in order to make one of the variables a subject. Um, I'll use x as it looks a bit easier. So 2x is equal to 6 plus 3y, and then we can divide everything by 2 to get x is equal to 3 plus 3 over 2y. And then we can sub this into the quadratic to get x squared, which is 3 plus 3 over 2y squared, minus y squared plus 3x, which is 3 plus 3 over 2y, and that is all equal to 50. We can expand the brackets to get 9 plus 9y. Um, the way you do that so quickly, the middle part of the bracket, is if you times, uh, when there's a square to the bracket, is if you times this by this, and then you just times it by 2 because you're adding um, both of them, you can straight away get the middle part of the bracket. And then plus 9 over 4y squared. Um, really quick, if you want to write out the whole square bracket, so 3 over 3 over 2y squared is equal to 3 plus 3 over 2y times 3 plus 3 over 2y and expand the whole bracket like that, uh, that's completely fine. Um, I used to do that um, pretty much straight up to the end of my A level. Um, so you don't really lose too much time by doing that, it's fine. Minus y squared plus, and then you expand the bracket to get 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 9 over 2y. You can simplify that to do 9 over 4y squared minus y squared, which is 5 over 4y squared. 9y plus 9 over 2y, which is 27 over 2y. You can put that into a calculator if you want. And then 9 plus 9, which is 18, and that's all equal to 50, and that's equation that we're going to work with here and then we can make that equal to zero by bringing the 50 onto the other side so do 5 over 4y squared plus 27 over 2y minus 32 is equal to zero and then we've got a quadratic which you can just put into a calculator to get y is equal to 2 and minus 64 over 5 and then we can find the values of x by subbing it into the uh, equation that we did down here. So when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 3 plus 3 over 2 times 2, which is 3, so therefore it's 6. So y is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. And then when y is equal to minus 64 over 5, x is equal to 3 plus 3 over 2 y, which is minus 64 over 5, and if you put that into a calculator, you'll find that the answer is minus 81 over 5, so when y is minus 64 over 5, x is equal to minus 81 over 5. So in an exam, write that a bit more clearer. y is equal to minus 64 over 5 x is equal to minus 81 over 5. And again, if you have some time and you want to check if that is right, you can sub it into the original simultaneous equations and see if you get out what you expect. Okay, here's a couple of questions on simultaneous equations. So pause the video, have a go, and I'll go through the answers in about five seconds. Okay, so for the first one, um, because the question is solely asking about s solving simultaneous equations, don't use the calculator because you're going to need to show some sort of method in order to get the marks. 
Um, I'm going to do it by elimination, um, but you could do it by substitution as well. Um, so I'm going to times this one by 2 in order to get the coefficients of b the same. So if I do that, I'm going to get 10a plus 6b is equal to 12. And then the other one before a plus 6b is equal to 10. And then if you minus them from each other, 10 minus 4 is 6. And then these two will obviously cancel out the b's. And then it's 12 minus 10, which is 2. And then if you bring the 6 the other side, divide everything by 6, you'll get that a is equal to 2 over 6, which is 1 over 3. And then you can just sub that into one of the equations. So we'll do 4a plus 6b equals 10. So 4, 1 over 3 plus 6b, oh, sorry, plus 6b is equal to 4 over 3 plus 6b, if we expand the brackets, and that is equal to 10. So this bit over here. And then we bring the 4 over 3 to the other side, we'll do 6b is equal to 10 minus 4 over 3, which is 26 over 3. And then if we divide everything by 6, we will find that b is equal to 13 over 9. So that's our solution when a is equal to 1 over 3 and b is equal to 13 over 9. Of course, um, you could then use a calculator in order to prove that this answer is right and the calculator will give out the same values too. Okay, so for the second question, um, in order to solve this, you first of all need to rearrange the linear equation uh, by making one of the variables the subject. We'll do y because it looks a lot easier. So y is equal to 2x plus 4. And then we sub that into the quadratic to do 4x squared plus 2x plus 4 squared plus 20x is equal to 4x squared. If we expand the bracket, we get 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 plus 20x. We can simplify this by collecting like terms to get 8x squared, 4x squared plus 4x squared. 16x plus 20x, which is 36x and then plus 16 and all of that is equal to zero by the way i hope the way i'm writing my equations is okay to read i know a lot of people like to do them vertically but i always do them horizontally and um, because especially because i don't have loads of space on the drawing tablet it just makes it easier and then you can put this into a calculator and you'll get the x values are equal to minus four and minus a half and then you can just put this into this equation up here so when x is equal to minus four y is equal to 2 minus 4 plus 4, which is going to be minus 8 plus 4, which is going to be equal to minus 4. So x, when x is equal to minus 4, y is going to be equal to minus 4. And then uh, for the second one, we sub it in again. So when x is equal to minus a half, y is equal to 2 minus a half plus 4 which is going to be equal to minus 1 plus 4 which is going to be equal to 3 and so that is the second solution when x is equal to minus a half and y is equal to 3 remember to get the pairings correct and also remember if you do have time in the exam to check your answer you can sub those solutions into the simultaneous equations and see if you get the answers that you expect.